Hi, my name is Yassi. In last video, we have created a project with the Cloud Studio of SAP RIPF 2.0, and then we also have import a desktop package um, um, about mass maintenance of sales price maintenance um, in S4 HANA Cloud. And then in this video, I'm going to show you um, we are going to create um, a user task for approval and we are going to put um, these two uh, skills together to mess up uh, to orchestrate as a process okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user task and then name it as approval and name it as approval task I click create and then now we can uh, create um, drag and drop um, the design, the, uh, user in, uh, the, the user interface for the approval form. So let's give it a title. And then we can add uh, some, add some additional um, input. The first one is very similar. We would like to have you know who request it request by and as well as we would like to having the value bounding with some input parameter and then you can name it and then you let's say I would like to create click to create a input parameter And one more. As a stream, at the same time, I would like to bound the value with uh, input parameter. As you can name it whatever you like. Request add. Okay. And then, I, in addition, I would like to rename this button continue from continue to approve. And then create the project button, and I click save. And then as you can see, um, we having the two input parameter uh, defined, and then we having the output uh, decision processor as well. And then we will need to have some general data uh, for the user task. For example, the subject. And then, more importantly, uh, who is going to uh, approve it? Okay, so in this case, I'm would like to having uh, to create another input parameter. Eventually, this information will come in from the input parameter from from the external. And with that, uh, we have the approval uh, predefined. So I don't have to spend all of the time to add the few by few. Um, here, just a very quick demo, and then the second one is I would like to create a process. Let's name it process and create a process. And then, as you can see, um, the skewed like the user task, uh, our approval, and also the skewed uh, we import from the desktop package is also listed here. And now we can we can uh, orchestrate um, these two tasks, these two skills uh, with the process now. And we, uh, this is the beginning, uh, the beginning event, and then this is the end of the event. Um, the first step, I think we need to. I would like to have approval before we try to run uh, the process. Yeah, um, let's do one by one. So the first thing, as you can see, we're having the um, um, the arrow has been mentioned. We don't having any kind of the reason is. We missing the input parameter for uh, for request by. Okay, so in this case, we will uh, we we will need to generate in the in the whole process level. We will need to uh, define the uh, input parameter as request uh, by, and then request 
add and then approve by and click save and then we'll uh, this is the input for the whole process and then I'm going to bound I'm going to bound um, the process from my step zero zero is from the beginning so I go to step by uh, request by and then step zero request add bounding with the step zero uh, approved by okay and as a result we're passing the from the input these three input parameter to the user task and click save and then after the approval um, I would like to have a condition um, the condition is like that um, approve or reject okay and then we are going to having the um, uh, the condition uh, expression um, and then inside the condition we would like to trick the RPA board to uh, to mass maintain to run the uh, mass maintain um, of the sales price in this case okay so now uh, we will we will define we will define the condition so the, the condition express is we're going to have uh, the um, the decision the decision is uh, it's output uh, output parameter from the approval and we're going to take this decision use it into the and the condition okay the condition um, is let's say if the output this um, decision from the approval is equal to uh, approve okay so because we have two button and uh, we have two button here when we click here the output is approve and then reject in this case okay now we we have done the uh, process design um, to to orchestrate uh, these two queues uh, together and click save. So as a result, we have uh, we have orchestrated the, uh, the design of the process uh, to start as a user task to approve uh, the mass maintenance of the uh, sales price uh, by the uh, by the by the by the user task approval, and then and we all all have the condition if it has been approved. Um, has been reviewed. The, the Excel sheet has been reviewed. Everything has been reviewed, and then we can trigger the uh, automation by the by the desktop um, package um, scenario uh, running the RPA board in the uh, with the authentic mode, unauthentic mode. Otherwise, we'll end the process simply. Okay, so this will conclude our design package. In the next, uh, we are going to learn um, how we can uh, generate the package and get it deployed and and wronged in the RPA.